<laughs> Next few days for us, we got some big changes coming. Uh, this is downtown Tuscaloosa here on a beautiful afternoon, but the clouds are gradually increasing. And even though we will be cool and dry tonight, Tomorrow promises to be a uh, day when we see a few more clouds sneaking into the sky. So tomorrow will be mild, just not quite as warm as it was today with clouds gradually thickening around here. High tomorrow afternoon getting up to around 61. Here's your starting point early Thursday, 35 in Ashland, 41 at Winona, 39 in Oakman, 41 at Coker, Aliceville, Pickens County, close to 41 degrees in the morning, but then a decent afternoon and notice it's a little warmer to the southwest, a little cooler to the northeast. Like Galesville, only getting to around 60, and with a cloudy sky, 60 is not going to feel as comfortable as it did today. 59 Ashland, 62 at Irondale, and 62 around Double Springs, 64 degrees at Barry. There's no rain tomorrow, and the impact of rain on Friday looks pretty low until you get northwest of Birmingham. South of I-20 through Shelby County and Chilton County, Bibb County. I don't think we see much rain at all on Friday, but then Saturday and Sunday, that's a different story. And into Monday, there's also some decent rain headed this way too. So you got current temperatures in the 50s and 60s. No rain on WVTM 13 live Doppler radar, but we're starting to see this next storm system come into view and all the moisture here from the western Gulf of Mexico starting to move northward. You see the wind arrows here coming from the Gulf toward the land. So watch the humidity increase here as the colors start to ramp up. We're definitely in that more humid stage by the time we get to Friday and showers are more likely in the more humid air, which will be northwest of Birmingham Friday afternoon. And then on Saturday, boy, it's just pouring on at this point. Widespread rain and each time we get a surge of moisture, there's going to be even more rain coming along with it, so much so that I think most of us wind up with around one to two inches of rain on average with this big zone right here in the middle of the state, potentially getting more than two, possibly three inches of rain by the time all is said and done. So we have light showers on Friday. Heavier rain is going to set in on Saturday, and here's how it's going to work out early in the morning. Not a lot of rain by three to four o'clock in the afternoon. Rain becomes more widespread, and then it becomes more concentrated through Sunday and Sunday night and Monday. So a very wet period average about one to two inches. Some are going to get more soaking rain ends on Monday and the next week a little cooler than what we've been this week.